Okay, continuing on. We now have, and it's a little bit neatly packaged, a little bit more neatly packaged here. We have our um, original base curve that got subdivided. Um, we moved the middle point to be higher and then remapped an arc. And now we have to subdivide that again so that we can find a centroid. Um, and so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try surface grid with that. Uh, so if I plug points in, I'm hoping that'll work. It will not. Um, there's something else uh, I should be using. Four point surface might work. It says it's creating a surface, but it's not. We'll just do patch, I guess. Patch should work with uh, curves, or points, I mean. So if I plug all three points into patch, it gave me absolutely not what I wanted. That's odd. Probably because they're coming in in an odd order. This shouldn't be this hard, guys. Battery edge curves. All right, well, um, I'll just do it this way then. So I know that um, what I know is since I can't figure out how to do a three-point curve, I should it should not be that hard, but. Um, since I know that my base point at both ends is the same, I can map a line to both of them, which is gonna give me an edge, and then use the curve and the line to create a surface using uh, boundary or edge curves. So I'm gonna to go to curve, primitive, line. And there must be a simpler way to do this, I just can't think of it right now. And I'm gonna use um, item zero mapped with item two, and you can see that that gave me a line. So now I don't actually need that. I have an arc and a line, and I should be able to use under surface, freeform, edge curves. And this one says uh, it can create a surface from two, three, or four edge curves. And I think you can actually, no, you can't add them. Edge surf. It's under surface, freeform, edge surface. So I plug the line into A, the arc into B, and that creates a surface for me. So the kicker here is that we're going to do something we just did in the other exercise. We need to find the normal. And that's this. Yes. Did it not work? Naffy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like you, you didn't need that um, another DYDD. You don't um, kind of need the arc. I don't need what? Sorry. It was another DYDD. Did you erase that? Yeah, I erased it. We don't need that. Because what I was trying to do was divide it into three points and just make a triangle, but for some reason it's not making a surface for me, and I forget what the simple surface one was. Can you show what divide is connected to? There is no divide anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay, so um, we need to find the centroid to give it a point, and then we need to feed the point and the surface into both of these. So where do we find the centroid again? Surface. 
under surface and then under analysis guys come on you should be knowing this one by now the centroid is a byproduct of area area all right so we got area we've got the centroid the centroid plugs into p and then we just need to feed the surface into both that and this that gives us our normal uh, yes same surface into both all right now you guys had said that you want me to extrude this curve so what I need to do is use that normal as a vector amplify that vector by a numerical value and feed it into the extrusion. So I'm going to do that this way. Um, I'm going to drop in under surface, freeform, extrude. Now looking at what I need, I need the geometry, which is the new curve. I need the direction, which is the normal with amplitude. So the new curve lives here feed that in there okay the new curve goes into the extrusion and then the amplitude needs to be added under vector vector amplitude And that comes with a magnitude. So vector is the normal. Magnitude is the number. We can do zero ten twenty. Yeah, zero is less than ten, less than twenty. But it really doesn't matter as long as you use realistic numbers. So what you get at the end of this is um, a or an extruded surface that is following the normal of the surface that you just used as an analysis tool. So essentially, all of this information is purely analysis. Let me turn it off. Turn these off too. Okay, so all of that information up until this point was purely analysis so that you can go back to this original move and now change the height of the arc of this surface. It seems like a lot, but it's really not. Yes? Do you need do you need me to come check it out or? Yeah, I need to do this. Mm. All right. So, um, are there any questions before I stop the video, and come around to help out anyone who still needs help? Before you uh, put those nodes asleep, you only had three sides, right? There, or two sides: the curve and then one edge, or the. Yes, that's correct you would see this surface here. Okay, I'll be around to help you out.